that being said, let's get started. <laughs> so we're going to do a little extra upper body work today, but let me know if you have other requests. Uh, let's get started in a child's pose. So you can stretch your arms out long. Start to open up the chest and shoulders. Let your head drop towards the ground. Good. And then just put your awareness on your breath. Notice how the breath is moving for you today. It changes every day. It changes every moment. <laughs> See if you can smooth out the inhale and smooth out the exhale. Take a few more big breaths right here. Good. For anybody just joining, my name is Jess. This is 45 minutes of power flow and we are starting in a child's pose. As always, please modify this practice as you need. So some days you'll feel like you wanna bump it up. Maybe you toss in some extra chaturangas. Other days, take it down a notch. Or if you're dealing with injury or some things going on with you physically, make it your own. You know, it does not have to look like my practice or anybody else's practice. All right, let's take one more huge breath in this uh, child's pose, all the way in. All the way out. And then rise up to all fours and just gently start warming up the spine. Inhale to look up. Exhale, rounding it out, chin to chest. And go back and forth. Inhale and exhale. Feel free to close the eyes or maybe rock side to side, forward and back. This is not a precise movement. This is a exploration. Wiggle around, figure out what needs a little attention today. Notice how things are for you. And then find your way back to a neutral flat back. Let's make it a little stronger than neutral. So push the ground away a bit, puff up in between the shoulder blades, really feel your chest engage and the upper back is strong. And then tuck your toes, hover the knees, just one inch off of the mat. Take a huge breath in here, huge breath out. Good, go ahead and lower your knees down. So that tiny little movement of lifting the knees one inch off of the mat should start to feel like things are happening through the core, the shoulders, the arms. I'm going to offer you some options to bump it up. This is something I've been doing with my trainer lately and it's brutal and I love it. So tuck those toes, hover your knees one inch off of the mat. Now you're going to try to keep your back as flat and not wiggly as possible, as stable as possible. Take your right hand, reach it straight forward and then lower it back down. Same thing, other side, left hand reaches straight forward. Those knees are hovering, put the left hand down. Now take your right foot and extend it straight back. Left knee is still hovering, yeah? And then bring it in. Other side, left foot reaches back and then hovers. Go ahead and relax, put your knees down. Take a child pose if you like, a few big breaths in and out. Or if you'd like to keep bumping up that intensity, building the heat, do it all again. So either in child's pose or right here, hovering those knees, right hand can go forward and down. Don't let the hips wiggle, left hand forward and down. Right foot back and down, left foot back and down and relax. Whew. All right. Rise up and back to down dog, straighten through the legs, press the chest back, big breath in, huge exhale out. Again, inhale, 
exhale. Walk your hands all the way back to your feet at the back of the mat. Let your knees stay bent soft, head hangs. Give yourself a little sway and wiggle side to side. Shake your head a little yes, a little no. And then interlace your hands behind your back. Straighten the arms up and over, ring yourself out. I'm always curious if you guys can hear my spine cracking and popping because of the microphone. <laughs> Whew, it just made some noises. Go ahead and release your hands down. Let's take the right hand over to the left ankle and then the left hand reaches up to the ceiling. So we get this nice twist. Good, and then let's make it about shoulder mobility. So make a big, huge circle with your hand. Good, and then switch directions. Keeping the arms straight, really moving through the shoulder joint. Awesome. And then come back down through the center, switch the twist. So the left hand goes to the right ankle, the right hand reaches for the sky. Big, huge circles in one direction, keeping the arm as straight as possible. And then take it the other way. And bring yourself back down to the center. Good, walk your hands forward, down dog once again. Breathe all the way in and all the way out. Walk your feet forward to your hands, folding in half at the top of the mat. Inhale, lift halfway up, flat back, hold here and breathe. Really reaching your heart forward, draw your shoulders wide and down towards your hips or back towards your hips, I should say. Good, can your spine get so flat that I could walk around and put my coffee cup on it and it wouldn't spill? That's what we're aiming for. One more breath here, reach your chest forward. And then exhale, round your spine, drop your head, soften everything. Rise all the way up on the inhale, reach your arms out and up and look up to your hands. And then exhale, thumbs to your heart. Big breath in. Big, huge breath out. On an inhale, reach your arms up to the sky. As you exhale, open the elbows wide like goalposts, right? So we're making 90 degree angles here. Go ahead and squeeze your shoulder blades together behind you, puff up your chest. Think about your heart reaching up towards the sky as you turn this into a little bit of a back bend. Hug those shoulder blades together. One more breath. And then on an inhale, stand tall, reach arms straight up. Exhale, dive forward all the way down. Inhale, halfway lift, flat, long spine. And then exhale, hands down, feet step back. High push up, lower down to low push up, chaturanga. Inhale, come to up dog, open your heart up. Nice, exhale, press back down dog. Three breaths here. Bend your knees as you exhale. Inhale, step or hop, feet to hands, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand up, reach for the sky. Exhale, elbows open wide for those goalpost arms. Puff up your chest, look up. Maybe let your head drop back even. And then inhale, reach up tall. Exhale, dive forward. Halfway lift. Hands press down, feet step back down to that low push up chaturanga. Inhale up dog. Exhale, press back down dog. Breathe in. Breathe out. This time, let's take it down to a forearm dolphin pose. So put your elbows down on the mat and really press your chest back towards your thighs. Breathe into that space under the shoulder blades. All right, come back up to your hands, down dog. Big breath in. Exhale, bend the knees, look forward. Inhale, step or hop, feet to hands, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Stand all the way up, reach for the sky. One more time, draw those elbows wide, puff up your chest, a little bit of a back bend. Inhale, arms extend up, reach tall. 
Exhale, forward fold all the way down. Inhale, half lift. Hands down, feet back, chaturanga, low push up. Inhale, up dog. We're gonna stay here in up dog for a moment. Not exactly the best place to hang out, but push the ground away, lift your thighs up off the ground. Everybody bend your elbows and wrap your shoulders down your back, puff up your chest even more. That little bit of bend in the elbows is a game changer for up dog. All right, press up and back, down dog. Breathe big. Two more breaths here. Bend your knees, look forward. Inhale, feet to hands, halfway lift. Exhale, fold in half. Stand all the way up, reach to the sky, and then bring your thumbs to your heart. Stand tall for a moment. Eyes can close. Give yourself that check-in, head to toe. How are things? How's the breath? How's the body? How's your mind? All right, today, instead of chair pose, we're gonna go right into eagle pose because it mimics the same type of bending into that standing leg as a chair pose. So I'll turn so you get this view. We're gonna start standing on your left leg. Hug your right knee up to the chest, cross it over, thigh over thigh, and then the right toes either press on the outside of the left calf or bend a little deeper and wrap those right toes all the way around so they're sneaking out the other side. Okay, arms out wide. Take your right arm under your left, palms coming to touch. And then lift, I'll turn, lift your elbows up away from your chest. Simultaneously draw your hands away from your face. Keep the crown of your head high. We're not taking that variation of bending forward. We're really looking for a tall stacked spine, strong low abs. Nice, one more breath here. And then keep your arms right where they are. Untangle the legs, warrior three. The right foot presses straight back. Check with the right hip. Can it point down at the mat a little bit more? Can the right toes point straight down to the ground? Nice, everybody, look strong. One more breath. And then gracefully step it back, untangle the arms, reach high, high lunge. Breathe right here. On the inhale, lift your chest high. As you exhale, open those elbows wide, go post arms. We're gonna take it in big circles. Inhale, sweep the arms down and up. Exhale, elbows wide, heart high. Inhale, big circle. Exhale, elbows open two more times like that. Working the range of motion in the shoulders. Working the core strength and the leg strength. Breathing. Hopefully. Good. And then we're gonna tip forward, fly up to that warrior three one more time. Working in reverse order, bring yourself back to your eagle pose. So take your right arm under your left. With control, stand up. Right leg lifts high, crosses over the thigh. We're right back here where we started. Big breath in, out. Untangle everything, feet to the ground, arms sweep high. Exhale, thumbs to your heart. Whew, feel your heart beating in there. Big breath in. Big exhale. All of that on the other side. Stand tall on the right leg. Left thigh lifts up, crosses over, and the toes go for the wrap. Really bend into the right leg. Remember, this is kind of like doing chair pose. We're getting down, strong into the legs. Arms open like a T, and then take the left arm under the right. Palms coming to touch. Open up under your shoulder blades by lifting the elbows and drawing the hands away from your face. Breathe. Just 
slow and controlled, untangle the legs, warrior three. Flex that back foot, point the hips down at the mat, strong muscles of the back supporting the spine. Step it back to your high lunge, untangle the arms, reach high, look up. Settle in for three breaths. Looking good, everybody. Now five times we'll open up the heart, draw the elbows wide, look up to the sky. Inhale, scoop the arms up. Exhale, open. Inhale, circle. Exhale. Inhale, make it as big and dramatic as you can. Feel your way into those spaces that need a little extra movement and stretch. Last one. And then reach the hands high. Tilt the torso forward, fly up to that warrior three. We're headed back to our eagle pose. Left arm goes under the right, palms touching. Strong and steady, stand up. Cross left thigh over the right, wrap the left toes around the back. Ooh, you might wiggle and fall, that's okay. Unwind. Arms reach high, feet to the mat. <sighs> Exhale, hands to your heart. Take a pause, check in. Two more breaths here, noticing how are you. And then let's keep moving. Inhale, arms sweep up, look up. Exhale, dive forward all the way down. Halfway lift. Make your way back to down dog. You're welcome to skip the chaturanga push up, or like I said earlier, double it up if you're looking for more fire, more heat. Either way, we need in down dog. Big breath in, big exhale out. Lift your right leg up and back behind you and then try to touch knee to nose as you step your foot forward. Rise up into a warrior two. And we'll settle in here for a few moments. Really find your legs strong, holding you up. Arms are reaching forward and back. Good. We're gonna take the hands, interlace them at your low back. Punch that fist down, roll the shoulders open, puff up your chest, beautiful. Now forward fold towards the long edge of your mat and the hands go up and over. That right leg is still bent. Staying low with your torso, turn to the front of your mat. So it's a humble warrior, but getting, it, getting into it that way sometimes lets you dip down even farther. Can you turn? Yeah, so the shoulders are pointed towards the front of the mat here. Trust your strong legs as you let your hips go a little bit lower. Beautiful, everybody, nice. Rise back up with an inhale, warrior two. Big breath in, big breath out. Ooh. Flip your front palm, reverse your warrior, reach back. Good, rise back up and cartwheel your hands down around your front foot, go back to down dog. However you want to get there is perfect. Huge breath in. Open mouth, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Reach your left leg up and back, stretch. And then knee to nose, step it forward. Warrior two, rise right up into it. Settle into your legs. Interlace your hands at your low back. Punch that fist down as you puff up your chest. Look up, feel your neck and your throat long. And then forward fold, hands go up and over. 
Once you're down there, then you can rotate and swing the shoulders so they're pointing at the front of the mat. Keep dropping in. Remember your head could touch the ground here, potentially. Two more breaths. Inhale, rise up, warrior two again. Settle for a breath. Flip the palm, reverse warrior, stretch it out. And then cartwheel your hands down, go back to your down dog. Breathe here, in and out. Inhale, exhale, let's lower the knees and we'll rise up and take camel pose three times. So we're standing tall on the knees, feet are straight back behind you, reach for the sky, swim the arms backwards, place the hands to the low back, enjoy that nice stretch in the hands and the forearms and wrists. Elbows hug close together, puff up your chest. Breathe. You can take this as far back as you like. But if you're going deeper into a back bend, make sure your hips are staying pushed forward over the knees. Beautiful. One more huge breath wherever you are. And then rise back up, swim the arms forward in those big circles. Have a seat down on your heels. Unless, of course, kneeling doesn't work for you, feel free to have a seat in any way that works. One more breath in neutral. And then two more rounds of that camel pose. So we rise up onto the knees, reach for the sky, hands to the low back. Hug the elbows closer together. Let that open up through the pecs and the chest, the throat. Lift up before you go back. Breathe for three, two, one. Rise up slow and steady. Swim the hands forward. Find neutral. Three breaths here. Last time, camel pose. Rise up, reach tall. Maintain all of this length in your spine as you find the back bend. Lift up to go back. Hands can drop to the heels if you like. And then use your inhale and your core strength to rise up. Swim the hands forward. Don't move too fast. You don't wanna have a head rush. And this time we'll go down into child's pose. So we soften the spine rounding it in the opposite direction of what we were just working and just breathe into it. Notice how it feels. All right, from your child's pose, just lift your chest up. We're gonna do one more big stretch into the neck and shoulders, bending kind of in the opposite direction again. Forehead is going to work to touch the knees. Hands will reach back and grab the heels. So it looks like this. Forehead down to the ground, touching your knees. Hold onto your feet. Lift your butt up in the air. Take two more breaths there. This should be giving you lots of stretch under the shoulder blades, maybe in the neck and the jaw, all those muscles up into the base of the skull. 
Good, slowly let it go. Slowly rise up, find neutral. Good, all of this back and forth with your head can sometimes make you really dizzy. So just take it slow, breathe into it. All right, and then let's come to all fours, hands and knees. We'll take a twist to open up under the shoulder blades in a different way. So right hand goes high to the sky, look up. And then on an exhale, thread the needle, pass your arm underneath, lay your shoulder and your head down. Left hand can reach up towards the front of your mat. That's my favorite variation of this. Some folks really like the half bind here, taking the left hand around the back. You can play with it. We'll take three more breaths. And then bring your hand back in, rise back up, open into the twist, right hand high, and place it down on the mat. Same thing, other side, left hand reaches. Exhale, thread the needle, left shoulder to the mat, right hand can reach up or around the low back. Breathe. And then the right hand comes in, left hand opens back up to the sky, look up and place it down. All right, tuck your toes, send your hips high, down dog once again. Fill it up with a big inhale. Empty out, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Right leg lifts up and back behind you and then step it forward, warrior two, rising up. Good. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior, stretch. And this time rise up, extended side angle. So right arm can go to the thigh or down to the mat. Left arm goes up and over. Try not to let the top shoulder cave in towards the mat here. We wanna open it so that your chest is rotating open towards the ceiling. Good, maybe there's a half bind for you, taking the top hand around the low back. Perhaps a full bind, that's the bottom hand reaching behind you and finding your fingers. Again, as much as possible, not caving in the chest. Look up, open that top shoulder. One more big breath here. Release the bind, rise back up, warrior two. Flip the front palm. Reverse, rise up, cartwheel the hands down, back to the down dog. Big, huge inhale. Open your mouth and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Left foot reaches up and back. Step it forward, rise to warrior two. Settle in. Flip the front palm, reverse warrior, reach it back long. Extended side angle, left arm to the thigh or down to the floor. Right arm is reaching up and over. Perhaps half bind or maybe full bind. Lean your chest back. Breathe, feel the legs strong and supporting you. Release that bind, rise up warrior two. Flip the front palm reverse, and then exhale, hands to the ground, back to down dog. Very nice, everybody breathe in. Open your mouth, exhale it out. Inhale. Exhale. One more little bit of standing series and then we'll make our way down to the floor. Lift your right leg high, step it forward, warrior two, rise up. Good, keeping the shoulders soft down your back. Flip the front palm, reverse your warrior stretch. 
Straighten that front leg, reaching in straight lines. Nice. Rise up, triangle pose. In your triangle, it's the same idea as that extended side angle. Open your chest towards the ceiling. Perhaps you look up to the top hand. This bottom right hand is not a kickstand, so no weight in the right hand, if possible. Good, one more breath here, and then we'll take it to a half moon. Look at your right toes. A Little bit of bend in that right leg will help as you press up into this beautiful balance. Straight arms, straight legs, straight spine, and lots of breath. Slowly and with control, step it back, warrior two. Nice, good control, everybody. Big breath in, exhale, hands down, back to down dog. Huge breath here. Open mouth to empty out. One more like that. And now the left leg reaches up and back. Step it forward, warrior two. Flip the left palm, reverse warrior. Straighten the left leg, reach back. Rise on the inhale, triangle pose, reach forward, and then the left hand can lower. Look up to the sky. Turning this into your half moon pose. Look to those front toes, bend your knee just enough. Stand up, rise up into the half moon. Breathing here, energizing out through your limbs. Last big breath, maybe look up to your top hand. <laughs> Maybe fall over, find your way back to warrior two. Breathe in and cartwheel your hands down, back to down dog. Everybody's moving and breathing. Beautiful. Take a huge breath in, empty out. Again, inhale, exhale, let go. What don't you need any more, let it out. Then take your right leg high to the sky. Bend your knee, keep that knee lifting higher. Let the hip really kind of open up. Good, from here, half pigeon. Step your foot all the way to the top of the mat. Right shin will lay down across the front edge of the mat. Hands walk back towards your hips. Try to find center before you go anywhere and then forward fold. Keep in mind a great alternative to that is laying on your back, right ankle crossed over left knee, gently drawing in the left thigh. Wherever you are, Notice the difference between all of that movement and effort and doing that we were just doing moments ago versus now this stillness settling in. Three more breaths here. Soften out whatever you can soften. And then slowly lift your chest. If you are on the floor, unwind your legs, rock yourself up and meet us in down dog. If you're in your half pigeon, press up and back, down dog. And then everybody give it a huge inhale. And exhale. Left foot reaches up and back. Bend that left knee, open your hips, let it feel good. And then turn it into your half pigeon. 
Left foot steps forward. Lift tall through your spine. And then forward fold. Soften the jaw, the neck, the shoulders. If you can, if you're here in pigeon, rest your head on something. So a stack of your fists, if the floor is a little too far away, or perhaps it's the floor. And that way your neck can totally relax. All those muscles can soften. One more breath. And then everybody's gonna meet on the floor. So if you're in pigeon, you're welcome to press up and back to down dog if you like that for symmetry, but you don't have to. You can just sit down and swing your leg around to the front as well. We'll all meet here, legs straight out front. Feet flexed up towards the ceiling with the toes. Reach the hands up nice and tall. And with a lift, then you forward fold. So we don't forward fold and compress the spine. We really find that space as you drop over your legs. And then just breathe. Rise back up on your inhale. Arms reach forward, round your spine. And as slow as you can or as you want, lay yourself down one vertebra at a time. When you arrive, take that big full body stretch. Arms reach long over your head, feet reach long. Good, and then hug your knees into your chest. Take a little rock side to side. So I'm gonna open up an option here. We've got about five minutes left in class. You're welcome to just go into Shavasana. A five minute Shavasana is always a good thing. If you'd like to take time to get upside down with an inversion, I'll keep talking about shoulder stand and then we'll get more like a one and a half minute Shavasana. So if you'd like to get upside down, take the legs straight up to the sky. You could stop right there and just enjoy that. If you wanna go for more, toss the feet up and over the head for plow pose first. Bring your hands to your lower back, scooch those elbows in and then lift legs up. Feet are reaching to the sky, hug the legs together and breathe. We'll take about five more breaths in this inversion. To come out of your shoulder stand with control, drop your legs over your head, plow pose. Slowly. Roll out onto your back. Good, on your back, take a breath. If you'd like any other wiggles or poses or stretches or movement, go right ahead. Otherwise, settle in for a few moments in stillness. And as you find Shavasana, check in with yourself. Once again, notice how's your body feeling? 
How is your breath flowing? How are you? How's your mind, your spirit, you? We'll take about five more breaths here. And then begin to wiggle the fingers, the toes. Let your head rock from side to side. On your next inhale, take a big full body stretch and then turn over onto one side. And take this last moment of your practice and just tell yourself, thank you. Recognizing what a gift it is to practice this beautiful practice of yoga. Keeping our mind and ourself present as opposed to in the past or in the future. Tell yourself, thank you for that. And then when you're ready, rise up to seated. Hands come to your heart, eyes can close. And we'll close it out with three breaths together. We inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale. And exhale. Bowing forward, we honor this practice of yoga for all it has to teach us. Not mind, body, spirit on the mat and off. Thank you all so very much for sharing your Friday with me. Have a really nice weekend. I hope to see you soon in person, but if not, on the Zooms. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Jess.